into your workout. It's not going to make you bulky. You have to use a serious amount of weight to put on a ton of muscle. So guys, if you're ready, pick up your weight and let's get ready to roll. So every exercise that we're going to do today, we're going to be using two body parts because we're doing 10 minutes, which means that we're going to maximize everything that we're doing. So we've got 10 minutes on the clock. We're going to start off. You're going to grab your weights. You're going to put them on your hips and we're just going to plie down. So really tuck those hips underneath. Okay. We're not doing a squat where it's Sticking our butt back, we're going to go straight down. And you guys, you're going to stay with me the whole 10 minutes because that's where your results are. So squeeze those glutes as you get to the top. Okay, we're going to take it down. You're going to drop those weights in front of you and you're going to bring it up towards your chest. Yes, we are using those legs. We're tucking those hips underneath and we're adding in those arms as well. Okay, let's take it down another inch and squeeze. Now hold it up to the top and we're going to pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing again. Oh yes, those legs are all ready to start on fire. And if you are not a member of the 30 Day Get Fit Plan, you need a workout schedule, you need some recipes, go and check it out because it is gonna keep you in shape, you're gonna feel amazing, and guys, it's new every 30 days. Plus, Alfie will be there for most of it if he's not sleeping. Okay, we're gonna drop it down, do those weights in front, and let's pull it back up to the top. And let's squeeze. Breathe in. Take it down a little bit more. And bring it up to the chest. We've got five, four, and three, two, one. Okay, now we pulse it out just for 10 seconds. Yes, you've got this, guys. Hold those weights up for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, shake out those legs. They're on fire, right? We're already burning. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a plie squat out to the side. A uh, curtsy squat. We're going to bicep curl and then take it back to the middle. So curtsy, bicep curl, and then bring it back. So that's it, just get that movement right first, keeping that chest up, give me a smile, it's not that bad, you can get through it. Okay, now we're gonna take it down here and I'm gonna repeat it out. So we've got five, four, and three, two, one. Over to the other side, drop it down. Same again, working those arms. We're also really burning those legs, three, two, one. Okay, take those legs to the middle. We are gonna work those calf muscles just nice and quickly. So as you come up, you're gonna do a hammer curl all the way together, okay? So two things at once. So if you don't have that much time, this is a great workout to get in. You are working the arms, you're working the legs, in that core, and adding in those weights. Okay, so we're gonna lift it here at the top, we're gonna pulse. So we're lifting high up onto those tippy toes, we're gonna work those arms, and now let's take it out to the side. Staying on those toes, let's go. Taking it out, use that chest. Open up those shoulders, and take it a little bit further, bend down for me. Oh yeah, we are working everything at once. You've just got three, two, and one. Okay, shake it out, we're gonna start working on that core. So drop it down to the ground, okay? You're gonna just put one weight over to the side, and we are gonna hold this weight and you're gonna bring your legs up together, okay? So point those toes, and you're just gonna push in the opposite direction, okay? So onto that diagonal. So we are squeezing that core, we're holding it nice and tight, and we're adding in that arm movement. So working those shoulders, working that back, and let's push it out. Now we're gonna hold it here. Now just bring in those knees, in towards the chest and out. How are we feeling, everybody? You're doing a great job. We're adding in that cardio as well because that heart rate is up. You're going to feel amazing. Now, how many calories do you burn from each workout? Well, well that is a never-ending question because it all depends what your body's like already. Okay, and it also depends on how hard you work, maybe what you've eaten before, what your recovery is like. So my suggestion to you guys is the harder that you work, the more weight Okay, if you add in some weight, you're going to burn more calories. So, let's go. Let's push it out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one. Okay, great job. We're gonna grab both of those weights. Okay, you're gonna take it all the way down. You're gonna push those arms up, squeeze, and then bring that chest all the way up to the top and then out again. So, using those abs, take it down nice and slowly. Push up to the sky and then all the way up, using those ab muscles and straight out. How are those arms feeling? Mine are on fire. You've got this. Keep pushing through. Arms up and all the way. You've got one more here. And now we're going to take those arms over the top. So lift, squeeze up, using those shoulders. And then just bringing it down to 90 degrees. So all the way up and take it down. You've got three. And two. And one. Okay, great job, guys. You're halfway through. We're going to come all the way down and then squeeze all the way back up and then punch in the opposite directions. Oh, we are just pushing through this workout. You're going to feel so amazing afterwards. You're going to get your sweat on. Woo! And remember that 80% is nutrition and 20% is the fitness. So if you're doing these workouts, that is awesome. And you want to make sure that you hashtag I can feel the burn Rebecca and also join our community, the Ralphies, you can hashtag that. The most important thing is that you're feeding your body the right nutrients. So if you need help with your nutrition plan, make sure you just give us a shout and all the details are in the link below. Okay guys, you've got this. We're gonna take it down, we're gonna go back over our heads, okay? So bring those knees a little bit closer towards you. You're gonna make sure that your hips are tucked underneath and you're gonna push all the way up to the top and then take it down nice and slow. So squeeze up and then take it down. At the same time, okay, my, my back is really firm onto the ground and I've tucked my hips underneath. Now for that added challenge, you're gonna bring your legs up too and you're gonna take it all the way down to the side. So really tuck those hips underneath, squeeze underneath and take it down. Woo, you're looking good guys. Modified version, you can just keep your feet on the ground. Now for that extra challenge, Take it up to the top and then really gently take it all the way down to the ground. That's it. Now bring those legs back up to the top. Keeping those arms nice and straight in front of you. Drop it down. Nice and slow. Okay, tuck those hips underneath. Keep that back on the floor and all the way up again. That's it. You're looking amazing, guys. Let's keep it going. Let's stay strong. Anytime that you need to drop that weight, no problem. You can just join me back again when you're ready. But just do not stop. That's the most important thing. Whatever you're doing, just keep doing a little bit more. Even if you're just holding right here, that is perfect. The last thing that you want to do is stop the video, okay? Because you're never going to know how far you can get. Okay, bring those knees up. We're going to take it out to the side. We've got the last five, four, three and two and one and then gently roll it all the way back up we're going to come back up to standing and working again on those legs okay so this time we are going to do a squat so you're going to have your toes a little bit facing out towards the side okay you're going to bring in your weights towards your your chest and then we're going to squat down okay you're going to lift up onto your toes back down and then squeeze those hips together okay squeeze those glutes so drop it down up onto those toes, so working that core, take it down and up to the top. Oh yes, take it nice and slow. We don't need to do this fast, we just need to do it right. Take it down. Woo, and you also feel that your arms are working as well, because we want to keep everything nice and tight. So chest is up, up onto the toes, heels down, and then bring it to the top. Okay, so this time, we're gonna take it down to that squat, make sure those knees are out to the side, and we're just gonna pulse. Okay, we've got these weights here in our hand, any time that you need to drop them, it's fine. But guys, come on, you can do it. Let's hold it. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, take it out to the top, squeeze, and let's drop it again. You've got this. Hold these weights out, nice and strong. Now bring your elbows up. Keep that chest up to the top. Squeeze those glutes, and we've got the last set of pulses for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, shake it out. You guys have just got a minute to go. You can do this. Okay, next exercise, we're gonna do a, a lunge backwards. Okay, so come to the top of your mat. Okay, we're gonna lunge back. You're gonna push up to the sky, and then you're gonna swing your leg through. So working that core 
and the glutes. So drop it here, all the way up to the top, make sure that knee's not over the toe, squeeze, and then bring it up. Oh yes, you've got this. You're doing amazing, guys. We're gonna keep going all the way through to the end, up to the top, you've got one more on this side. Bring it through, squeeze those glutes, and drop it down to the top. Okay, other side, a little bit of a shake out. Let's get ready, last set, guys. Nice and low, all the way up to the top. And then pull in that waist so that you bring that leg up to the top. That's all the balance here. Squeeze. And up you go. You've got this, guys. There's three more on this side. You can do it. Make these ones your best ones you've done yet. All the way down. Squeeze. And you've got one more. Come on, guys. Squeeze in those abs. And hold it. Hold it. And now you can release it. Okay, drop those weights down. If you feel that you still need a little bit more workout, make sure you check out the rest of the videos in the playlist. And of course, the 30 Day Get Fit Pan. It's got the actual workout you need to do every single day of the month, every single day of the year, so you've got yourself covered. Thank you for joining Alfie and I. He has slept through the whole thing, which is not what you're supposed to do. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Both of his fitness. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next week.